I'm going to show you this tip in Google Drawings. However, it also works in uh, Google Slides. The tools, the commands are all the same. So I love to use images in my presentations, in my documents. And a lot of the times they aren't sized exactly how I want or they have extra stuff that's just taking up space. So I wanted to show you a really cool new thing I discovered about the cropping tool. So the first thing you need is an image. To find an image. Ah, there it is. So I have my image here, and you can resize and scale as usual. However, what I want to do is crop. So if you look up at the crop uh, button at the top, you've probably seen it and used it before. If you just click on it, it'll give you some uh, black markers for you to pull down can crop in rectangular shapes like that. However, there is this really fancy new feature that not many people have noticed is that you can actually crop via shapes. So if you click on the drop down arrow right next to the cropping tool, you can choose a shape that you want to crop by. Um, I'm going to choose an arrow. So what that does is it allows me to have an arrow as my cropping tool and now when I move these black bars I'm cropping it as the arrow. Click off of it and there's my new cropped image. One thing that's really cool about it is that it's kind of smart. So I'm going to choose this image because I know it is a circle and you can see that there's extra blank around it which normally isn't a big deal but again it, this is a circle so I wanted to show you how to crop with a circle. So if I go into the drop down shapes circle you can see it automatically detects which circle I want to crop it by. Now I can still crop it differently if I want to but um, using that smart crop gives me a little bit more uh, fine-tuning for how exactly I want my image to look. So that's the special cropping by shape tool.